They're a very unique species. They actually have individual spot pattern. So basically like a human fingerprint, they have little black spots on their white bellies that we can identify individual birds. They have these pink glands over the eyes which help them to thermoregulate. And they're just very, very nice, uh, funny creatures to watch. I'm Kataludinia, I'm research manager here at Sankop. And one of the species that we mostly treat here at Sankop is the African penguin. We have people that work in the colonies. If they find, for example, small penguin chicks that have been left alone by their parents, um, they get brought into us and we hand rear them. And when they're ready to go out into the wild, we release them back into the wild. The African penguin only lives in Namibia and South Africa and it's listed as endangered by the IUCN. There used to be millions of these birds around. We have currently probably less than 20,000 breeding pairs in South Africa and Namibia. So there's only about 50,000 birds left in the wild. So that's just very concerning. Climate change is obviously affecting these birds. The lack of fish that we see currently in South African waters is partly due to the industrial fisheries, but it's also due to environmental changes that are obviously triggered by climate change. So the currents change, the fish stocks move, and that's not available for the birds anymore to feed on. But another problem with climate change is that we are predicting um, rises of sea level. So the birds all breed on islands which are relatively low. So if sea level rises, there will be obviously areas of the islands that will not be available for the birds. Then there's other problems I already see now is, for example, that we get more heat waves and more droughts in South Africa. So birds, when they start breeding, often it's still too hot and then they actually abandon their eggs to cool down themselves in the ocean and then the eggs actually die. As we all know, climate change is a huge threat for not only the African penguin but for all species. All countries worldwide have to work hard on actually reaching the climate goals that have been set in the Paris Agreement. And especially countries like China are really working hard on the carbon reduction. So I think we all need to really change our behaviour to make a difference. The world has suffered a major setback when the American president announced his intention to withdraw from the Paris Agreement. Every week brings a new example of climate-related devastation. No country or community is immune. And, as is always the case, the poor and vulnerable are the first to suffer and the worst hit. When these boxes get tipped and the, the birds walk out into the ocean, it's always the greatest moment. Some of them had um, problems with emaciation, which means they were very skinny when they arrived and we had to feed them until they were healthy enough to leave. And given the fact that um, it's predicted that the penguins are going to be extinct in the wild in the next 10 years, every single penguin counts. 